Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see more options in JavaScript. The first thing in JavaScript, as in any other language, if you want to use a comment, you can use this. This is a comment. So it's a single line comment. If you want to use multi line comment, that is also possible. Same like in C you can see the multi-line comment is this is a multi-line comment you can have multiple lines within slash star and star slash if you go back to this and then refresh the screen will appear without those commenting lines because the comments do not add any value to the display of the script they add value only to the person who reads this code and then starts using it. For example, if I comment this, right now this was displaying, now I commented this, when I refresh this, that particular text is gone. So, the moment you comment an active line, it will not get displayed. So, you use this for documentation purposes. So, I am removing this comment, now that line will appear. Let me refresh the screen, now this line appears. So, the comments are used to either activate or deactivate or to give uh, uh, some kind of a maintenance instructions for the person who is maintaining this particular code. JavaScript has got a set of information or statements. They are separated by a semicolon. If you see here, this is a statement. Document.write is a statement. Alert is a statement. For example, if I say alert, let me put right here then I have to use a semicolon. So, say the semicolon is the separator, statement separator or the delimiter between statements. Let us try to refresh the screen. Now, since I have given an alert, this alert is printing over here. If you see here, initially this button was not appearing. The alert appeared, then this button appears. I have an event alert on this click also. When I click, that also appears. So, if you see here in the code, this document gets painted from the top to bottom. So first this gets displayed, then this gets displayed, then this gets displayed, then the button gets displayed. So it, it starts painting the screen right from the top to bottom based on the instructions. So I have given one alert here, another alert here. But this alert will not automatically appear, but only when I click this alert will appear. Whereas this one will automatically appear when the screen paints. So you have multiple statements, you have semicolons. Also, if I want to have something at the sub subsequent line, so there is a way. So you can have a statement breaking from one line to the other line for readability purposes to avoid lengthy lines. To do that, you can use the backslash. The backslash is used for doing uh, line splitting. For example, let us try to print this one, document.write. Now, I'm saying this is a broken line, okay? Again, this breaking of line can happen only within strings. So, the moment you put a backslash, it, it indicates to the JavaScript code that this is a broken line. So, I broke this line with this backslash, then let me go here and then type this. This alert appears, then this is a broken line appears together. So, if you see here, though you have this in one line and this in another line, they don't appear in two different lines because the backslash indicates that this is a single line but broken into the next line for readability purposes. So, I can do like this. Doesn't matter. Now, I have in introduced like this. Let me comment this alert. Let us execute it once again. Now, if you see here, this says this is a broken line, this prints like this. But I have got a lot of white space. White space meaning there are a lot of spaces. But it doesn't print a lot of spaces in my browser. It is printing just one space. So any space you include, it, it, the white spaces are not considered. That, that's, a, that's one way good, that's one way bad because you may not exactly understand why it is not showing. but the few time if you try to display and then see you can you can figure it out the white spaces especially are not uh, are treated as one single space 
you can use this line breaking only in this within strings whereas let me do one thing I have got something like this now I try to break this line like this okay let us try to execute it doesn't do anything it doesn't display you are not supposed to break the lines like this if you break the lines like this this is not at all treated as a valid statement it doesn't give an error right here but it gives no no display whatever you you wanted to display it's not displaying so you cannot break in between the statement but you can break the lines only within the strings so you have got normal single line statements but statements separated by semicolon you can break the statements single line comment multiple line comments also in JavaScript you can have functions we are going to deal with reusable functions so that you can call those functions those functions are called blocks blocks usually functions so these functions are like any other Java functions or VBScript functions so you can define them at the top and then you can reuse them in many places by simply calling them you can pass parameters to the functions those are called blocks so the statements, the separators, the comments, the blocks are the essential building blocks of JavaScript. Next we are going to see variables. If you see variables, it's very simple. You declare with a statement called var. If you look here, I have used a simple syntax var space x semicolon. And then I assign x is equal to 5. Then there is a document dot write some string within that as I, I have given another statement document dot write within bracket cx this is like print of x in c so I am giving a variable and the variables value will get written onto the page let us see how it looks like look here this text variable has a value of this 5 I have not given 5 but instead I have given the variable x so that gets displayed so you can use the values of the variables to get displayed onto the screens this is a numeric variable now uh, it's an integer variable now I say 5.15 this is a uh, floating point let us do that it gets assigned to 5.15 without any problems so what happens is as and when you define the values now instead of a numeric variable hello how are you I give a string value within double quotes let us refresh the screen now that value gets printed so JavaScript variables if you declare something called just var x depending upon the value you assign whether you assign an integer or a floating point value or a string it automatically takes that particular variable type so it's very easy to define the variables you can use dollar $x also let us try this dollar $x let us try see what happens over here so the effect is exactly the same so you can use the dollar prefix pretty much like in Perl or PHP in other places but normally in JavaScript we don't use this convention though you can use it also I can use x underscore y as the variable name also you can use underscore as part of the variable names so let me use this so if you go back value of now let me refresh this takes the same thing without any errors so you can use a dollar prefix or you can use embedded underscores for variables but usually the dollar sign we, we normally try to avoid because that's a convention in JavaScript though it is possible so it's a simple variable and in the subsequent sessions we will talk about how to manipulate variables with arithmetic and logical operations thank you